Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Peter Von Bergel, CEO of M6. Peter, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Laura, and thank you for having me. Glad to have you. Well, for those who don't already know, can you please tell our viewers about M6? Yes, thank you. So M6 is an internet exchange. Uh, and in that role, we are one of the major connection hubs in the world, connecting uh, many people together and many companies, of course, uh, together. Um, and you can probably best uh, compare it to something like a, like a large port uh, or an airport. Uh, so here in the Netherlands, we have Rotterdam port, for example, um, where they actually uh, um, uh, bring a lot of containers in and then they bring them on um, to uh, uh, other parts of Europe. And that's exactly what we do, but then actually for internet traffic. So yeah, that's what we do. That's Om6. That was a great explanation, Peter. Thank you very much. So tell us about any recent news or updates. Do you have any to share with us in the ITW virtual event audience? Yeah, so um, any recent news updates? Uh, how can I not talk about COVID? Of course, um, uh, a crisis that uh, we've all uh, been faced with and have to deal with. And um, I must say for OMSIX, of course, we have had our challenges, but also we have seen um, weirdly also a positive effect. So specifically uh, after the lockdown um, uh, came into effect in the Netherlands and, and in a large part of Europe, we saw quite the increase in traffic, which um, we could deal with uh, quite easily because of the way we're designed and, and how we're handling that traffic. But of course, we also had to deal with that operationally. So we had to make some changes to our team and our process to support that. But I'm happy to say that uh, we've been able to get through that quite uh, quite effectively. Uh, but also us, you know, we're working at home. So the whole team has been working from home for a long time. We have reopened the office, although many people are still working from home as we speak. Um, and um, uh, yeah, we're just uh, trying to find our way uh, uh, into the new normal, I would say. So, you know, operationally and business-wise, we're doing okay. But, um, uh, you know, the, the future is somewhat uncertain like it is for everybody and to see where uh, this crisis is going to take us. Well, Peter, as we're navigating this new normal and, uh, you know, business operations are moving ahead, do you, uh, can you give us an idea of, of maybe what the rest of the year looks like and beyond business-wise or what initiatives you have uh, moving forward at M6? Yeah, so like I said, uh, for the for the second half of the year, we are uh, relatively positive, I would say. Uh, cautiously optimistic, I think the saying is in English, um, because like I said, we, we do expect uh, economically there be uh, an impact. Uh, many parts of business have been affected, and many people have been affected, and that, that can't be without uh, also an effect on, on companies like us. However, when we look at our business, uh, we also seem to be in the right business, right? Internet and, and internet connectivity has proven very important in these uh, challenging times. And we also see that in, uh, in our business. So for the second half of the year, we have a number of opportunities with uh, a relatively new service we launched last year. It's called IX as a service, where we help companies actually set up their own IX. Uh, and that's been proven quite successful. And we also continue to uh, invest in our network and in our services to make sure that we can you know, deal with those opportunities or for that matter, any of the changes that uh, are gonna happen in the, in the marketplace as we see them. So, like I said, we're cautiously optimistic, but uh, keeping a close eye on market developments because of the, uh, the increased uncertainty in, uh, in the next couple of months. Understood. Well, Peter, tell our, tell our viewers where we can go to learn more and, and follow the developments of M6. Yes, of course, there's, uh, there's our website, uh, m6.net, where there's a lot of information available. People can subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, but also, um, you know, the normal uh, social media channels uh, we, of course, use as well. So like LinkedIn and, and, and Twitter and what have you. Um, but also channels like this. So we have a booth uh, at ITW or a virtual booth this year. Uh, you can find us there and, and find in for more information about us. And uh, yeah, we really hope also that uh, in the near future, uh, the real events are going to happen again. And, and we'll be present there too in um, when and if they happen. Okay, go check out M6 at ITW, their virtual booth, and their website and social channels. You'll know where to find them. Thank you, Peter, so much for joining us and, and sharing with us today.
Thank you, Laura. It's, it's been a pleasure being here and uh, I hope you have a good show and uh, we'll talk to you soon. We will do that. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.